Oh yeah, so the next uh, step for my uh, YouTube service is going to be a subscriber only video um, and I'm going to talk about um, is it a tutorial or is it a show off? Because as you're aware I have some show off videos and also have the tutorial videos which is really what the channel is about. So what I'm going to talk today about is dexterity uh, and ways that you can help your hands to um, feel that the sticks are an extension of your body as it were. So um, first one I'll show you is this one, nice one, like a Chinese style stick twirling exercise. I don't know why it's Chinese. So. Um, but just holding that with those three fingers and literally just moving your fingers and moving them like this. So as I move my middle finger forward, it flips the stick around once and then I get it out of the way and move it forward again. So I'm just, it's really just flicking it forward and balancing it between these, these two. So it's going to help your, your forward grip, this, this part. And it's going to, obviously the stick's moving around all the time. So you're having to kind of keep the balance and try not to drop it. Uh, you could try that the, going the opposite way, which is a little bit more tricky. But I'm sure I, if, with enough practice, I could get good at that as well. So, is it a show off video? I don't know. We could try the same thing with the left hand. Can I do it? Just about. With a bit of patience, you can, you can get both hands working, you know, equal to each other. So good bit of dexterity there. Another thing is, I mean, just holding the sticks and moving them around and kind of flipping them, you know, uh, you know, want that sort of thing to become kind of natural, really. So that's another nice one. Same, same thing, really. Put your middle finger on top of the stick while you're holding it uh, and flip it around. So look at that, amazing, right? Same thing with the left hand. I mean, this is the equivalent to, to doing things like brushing your teeth with your left hand or, um, you know, eating with your knife and fork swapped around. What else? Opening doors with your left hand, shaking people with the wrong hand. That's a good one. It throws people off. Uh, <laughs> um, especially if they're not, you know, they don't know what you're, you're doing and they know you and you usually shake hands with your right hand. Brilliant. So, uh, it's the only, only drummers would like doing that sort of thing, <laughs> you know, confusing people on purpose. Uh, so that's it really. Um, an another one, let's just do a few more. I mean, this kind of thing is pretty straightforward, just just flipping it. But what you're trying to do is, is, is do as little movement as possible and uh, try and get it as fast as possible. So I haven't dropped the sticks so far, which is, which is nice. I was thinking I was just gonna be a video of me dropping the sticks. Oh, there we go. Um, or there's the over the hand, like that. A little bit tricky with the left hand. Let's see if we can do it again. Okay, there we go. So that, that sort of thing. Or there's the over the back of the hand. Um, that one. Oh, just about. Yeah. And obviously you want to catch it where you you normally hold the stick. Um, so anyway, that's. My video, am I showing off or is it a tutorial? You decide, leave the comments below. Also, um, anything else you want me to talk about in the regular videos, leave a comment under this video. Uh, I know there's only nine of you at the moment, but hopefully you'll get some more subscribers in and uh, start to uh, tailor the lessons a little bit more. Uh, at the moment I'm keeping them fairly simple, but if you want me to show you guys anything else, uh, let me know in the comments and I will speak to you there.